we write so much in class, um, which is a good thing. Um, and I'm enjoying writing their pieces, but again, I need to develop, develop, I need to, <laughs> I need to give myself some time to read their writing samples. Happy Monday, I left my vlogging camera um, at home. So I had to revert back to the original vlogging camera, which was my cell phone. But I'm not gonna vlog too much today. Actually, I have all the student work from those students that owe me work that I went to Saturday school this past Saturday. So I'm gonna actually use time right now during my third period planning to do that. And I actually wanted to talk about the fact that I had skipped, well, I guess I can still talk about it, um, that I skipped content. And because I pushed everything a day back and we did the learning stations, I was supposed to finish those last week, but because I pushed everything a day back, my AD classes did them Friday, they finished them up today. My BD classes won't start them until tomorrow. And then Thursday, this Friday is also a B-Day, but this is actually the last full week of like full instruction because next week, um, final start on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, and those are half days, I believe. And then the week after next is the last week of school before winter break. So originally I was planning to cover something new um, based on content that I, it was not, well, new for the students, but it was content that I skipped mid-semester and I pushed back um, and I was like, well, maybe I can get it done before we leave for break, but that's not going to happen. However, I can cover it when we get back. I had already created my calendar for the fall, um, not fall semester, for six weeks. So I'm going to take everything and push back. However, this past weekend, um, I realized that we are going to be, the students will be receiving the laptops because we're going to be a one-on-one -on -one campus. So that gives me an opportunity for us to catch up a lot quicker than if had I just normally stood up in front of the class took notes because students can go at their own pace. I just need to build in, I need to build in opportunities for students to check and to pace themselves so that way I don't have certain students that are zooming ahead and then certain students that are taking forever to complete the modules. Um, I had success with it um, seven years ago when I would just do things like on PowerPoint beyond when we didn't have Google Classroom or Canvas. And I did a little bit of the blended learning this semester and that seemed to work out. So I'm going, right now I'm creating a winter break to-do list. Yes, I'm planning to do some work over winter break. Uh, I will relax, but I'm planning to do some work over winter break. Just things that I want to get done. So like shooting videos, that's what I had wanted to do this, this summer, this past summer, and I just didn't do that because I wasn't sure how my curriculum was going to go. But now that I have a vision for how I want the spring semester to go, I can create videos for the blended learning experiment uh, experience uh, for the experiment. Well, I guess it is kind of an experiment. We'll see how it works next semester um, for the experience next semester. But other than that, I need to finish grading these um, leftover, leftover, these late assignments because prog supports are due tomorrow at one. I probably should just let them stay missing and have them all get a zero. But some of these students are athletes and their coaches are contacting me. So let me get this stuff done. So aluminum is AL three plus. Sulfide is S2 minus because it has six valence electrons. It needs to gain two more. Some of you put six instead. That's the number of valence electrons. It needs two more, so it becomes negative two. So then you crisscross applesauce, drop it like it's hot. So the two goes down there. So Al2 and then S3. Okay. So that is the formula for that one. No, 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 some two. Some two, give me two. Yeah, two. End of the day, Tuesday. Not much to vlog about. My students just did what my students did on Friday. My B day students did what my A day students did on Friday. So, um, I was all set up, all the stations were out, nothing too much. Um, made the decision that I'm not going to cover anything new because this is really the last full week of instruction. Next week, I will only see my media classes one day um, for as a review and then they have their, my sixth period has their final on Friday and then my seventh period has their final the week after next. Um, so there really isn't much to do at this point, just to review the last new topics that, um, the last topic that I had covered that was new to the students, and then now it's just reviewing because I don't have much time. And so at this point, um, the rest of my time is trying to figure out if the content that I skipped 
not all of it because there's just no way like it would push me back even further and I'm at this point where I'm content with the fact that I had to skip some stuff um, and again it's part of being back to teaching chemistry in a while so I've learned from that that process and I made sure to write it down so that way over the summer when I'm planning I can have that I can think about how I'm going to sequence sequence, sequence it um, so I'm not stressing myself about that. But there is one particular concept that I, I want to make sure that I cover. So I am going to take the first week and a half to two weeks once we get back from winter break to cover it. Mainly because number one, I will be out. I have to go to training for my dual credit course that I'm um, helping facilitate. And then students are also getting their laptops because we will be a one-to-one -one campus in the spring. So there is going to be some disruption to the schedule. Um, within the first two weeks. So I decided I'm going to use the first two weeks to go back and cover that content and then um, spring back into that. But other than that, I'm going to go to the gym since I didn't go to the gym this morning um, and it's cold right now, so I need to just change and get out before it gets even colder. Well, that's it. If you're interested in checking out some of my other clips, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.